Okay, now we are about finished with this layout. A few more steps. You can see that I've gone ahead and put some labels on uh, the buttons across the top here. And also in my layers panel down this right side, you can see all the elements that make up um, this layout. I'm going to organize these a little bit. I've got all the buttons out here. You can see they're labeled button symbols. And there's the seven button symbols um, to kind of organize these so I don't have to, they don't take up quite as much room. Uh, down here along the bottom, I can add in a new folder or a layer if that's what you like to call it. So I'm going to click that little plus button with the folder on it. And it comes in, it says layer two up here. I'm going to double click on that and just name that buttons. And I can click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one. It gets all seven of those selected. I'm just going to drag and drop that into the buttons folder. Okay, then I can just close that whole folder up. I don't have to see all of those. Um, and I'll also put the lock on so that I don't accidentally move those around. Okay, now a few last things here before we get on with um, slicing this up and taking it over to Dreamweaver. Um, I, uh, as I look at this, especially if we look at it in the browser, let me just open this up in the browser quick. When I look at this in the browser, there's still a couple little elements that need um, some attention. So when I pull this over, you can see that uh, on part of my design here, I've got a thin black border. But when I laid the header and the footer and maybe even the buttons a little bit, I laid those on top of that background rectangle. Uh, it kind of covered up uh, that black border. Now I think I want that thin one pixel wide border all the way around this uh, design or I'd like to at least see what it looks like. So let's do that. Um, now the way I'm going to do that is I need another rectangle that's exactly the same size as the original one. Now I, I did make an extra one here. You can see it over here. I'll unlock it. Um, here it is in my uh, over here in my layer panel. Now if I hadn't have created an extra one, I could always go down and get this original, this background rectangle that's sitting here on the bottom uh, and make a copy of that, take off the extra shadow uh, and manipulate it. But I've got an extra one already up here. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn this one on and it should cover up a few things. And I can even turn off some of this other stuff in the meantime if I don't want to see it. Oh, that was one too many. All right, turn off the buttons. So now I am just seeing just that rectangle. Now all I want to do here is uh, I just want to use its border, that little thin black one pixel wide border on the outside because it's exactly the right size. I won't have to do any resizing. Now this rectangle is made up of two uh, primary pieces. It has a, a, f a stroke, which is the piece I want to keep, that black border, and then it has a fill, which is this big white area. So all I'm going to do is tell it not to have any fill or make the fill transparent. So I can come down here to the fill section of the properties toolbar. Now I have to select the rectangle first. So just make sure you've got that black uh, selection tool. Click right on the rectangle. It becomes selected. And now the property bar lets me edit the properties. So I'm going to open up where it says solid there and uh, on this menu. And I'm just going to say none. So I have no fill. And you can see it just leaves behind. It's still a rectangle. It's still the same shape, but it left behind that border. Now if I turn on these other items, because they're underneath that rectangle there in the stacking order, um, the footer, um, the header and the big rectangle or the background rectangle, um, they're underneath. So this border sort of sits on top of them and I don't have alignment problems or anything like that. Let me turn on the text here. Uh, I can turn back on the buttons to see how they look. Now before I finish this up, I'm going to save it and preview it one more time out in the browser and see how it looks. Okay, so I think it looks a little bit better with that uh, with that thin black border on. Uh, uh, if I if I had time or if I was doing this again, I might make this footer a little bit bigger, or maybe I'll take it off altogether. Um, doesn't matter. Let me just see what it looks like. I can uh, I can take it off just by uncheck uh, turning that one off, and well, I'll leave it on for now. But you might play around with that, putting it on, taking it off. Um, also, I'd want to just check the buttons to make sure everything looks good there. 
All right, so I'm going to assume that we're finished here and the colors are what I, uh, what I like, at least for now. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about slicing this into pieces and then taking it into Dreamweaver and turning it into a template that I can use on the rest of my pages.